Outside Shanghai is a different world, a world that's been here for century upon century. From the dazzle of the new, you'll enter the gentler realms of the past. Beyond the farms and village life, I ventured into neighboring Jiangsu Province to the water village of Zhuzhuang. This village is quite sizable, so if you want to save your feet, hire one of these trishaws for an hour or so. Let's go. The rickshaw will take you to the gates of this ancient city, then you must venture further either on foot or by boat. History says that this area was once the private home of a rich man named Zhu Di, who gave up the area to build a Buddhist temple. The surrounding village hence became Zhu Zhang. This is a tourist town, but 60% of it is still lived in by residents who care for its 900 years of culture and precious artifacts. That includes the old theatre. Head here on a weekday because the weekends bring scores of extra visitors and the narrow paths and bridges are already a challenge to squeeze along. Well, as you can see, the past has great appeal for today's modern Chinese who travel in great numbers and from long distances to rediscover much of what's been lost in this fast-paced world. Zhuzhuang is the kind of town that dotted the Yangtze Delta in ages past. Over 50% of the buildings were constructed in the Ming and Qing dynasties. Almost 100 old houses and over 60 carved brick arches have been carefully preserved. You'll discover old tea shops, calligraphers and jewellers at work, plus a myriad of souvenir stores selling local handicrafts. 
what we have here is a traditional seal. This is what you use to stamp your name, your, I guess, your business. Uh, and you carve into the bottom here, and then you stamp. Yes. Thank you very much. All right, now it's time for a boat trip. Let's go. Now you'll truly begin to venture back to the past and the boat woman will sing you on the journey. This entire town has been built on the water with canals that crisscross and covered by about 14 bridges. Of course, the best way to explore is on a boat like this. <laughs> This is actually not as easy as it looks, believe me. It's got quite a curve in this oar. She's very strong. Can you sing? Somehow, I don't think I'm cut out for either the rowing or the singing. Wherever your path leads, China never fails to surprise or fascinate.